Today's math strategy video is on dividing shapes into equal parts. Let's look at our first example problem. It says Katie has some tiles below. She wants to put the tiles in the middle of her flower garden. How many different rectangles can she arrange with the tiles? Okay. So we're going to take these smaller tiles. What we're going to do is we're going to make a larger rectangle with them, but we need to know how many we have first. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I have 16 tiles. So we're going to think of some different ways that we can arrange them and they're not going to look exactly perfect, but I can have, let's see, four. Let me fill up four columns and then see how many rows that would be. Okay, looks like if I did four columns, I would also have four rows. So I would have four rows of four. So what is four rows of four? So four rows of four, that would be 16. Okay, let's see if there's another way to arrange them. What if I took these off? What if I made two rows? Two rows, how many would be in each row? Looks like I could have two rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two rows of eight. Two rows. Of eight. So two rows of eight, that would be 16. Um, let's think about what if I had some of these shaded? Like what if the, my entire bottom row was shaded? Let's turn it, let's turn it yellow. So if this row was shaded, what portion of my new rectangle is shaded. So these are going to be sixteenths, and so this would be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight of, eight out of 16 would be shaded. So that would be half. Half of my rectangles would be shaded. Let's look at another problem. So this example problem says Brad and Linda each covered a same size board with mosaic tiles. Here are the designs they made. What part of Brad's design is red tiles and what part of Linda's design is red tiles? Well, let's just think about how many tiles does Brad have. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means that his tiles are divided into one eighth sections. Each tile represents one eighth of the entire board. Okay, now let's see how many tiles Linda has. She has a lot more tiles, although her board is the same size, these are smaller tiles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count how many um, rows I have and then how many columns I have. So I have one, two, three, four rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four rows of eight. So four times eight would be 32. So each one of these tiles represents one, 30, one out of 32. Now it wants to know how many tiles are red for both of these. So Brad's would be this section right here. This is what's red. So that's four tiles out of eight. So four out of eight would be a half. So half of his board is red. One half of Brad's board is red. Now let's look at Linda's, okay? So she has these tiles right here. I'm gonna count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16. So that would be 16 out of 32. And 16, I believe that 16 is half, but let's just make sure. If I added up 16 twice, that would be 12, 32. So this would also be half of Linda's board. is red. So both boards represent, the red tiles represent half. It's just that they are broken up into different sizes. So that is the end of today's math lesson.